Good morning, traders. Today is uh, Monday, August 20th. I'm Michael Sabo, a senior commodities broker here with RJO Futures, and going to bring you some energy uh, commentary here today. Take a look here. Let's start off here with the October uh, crude oil here. A uh, little weaker right now, around 95.76. We're off about 56 cents. Brent, pretty quiet. Uh, we're actually up about a penny or so, uh, trading around 113.72. As always, give me a call. You want to talk about that Brent WTI spread? Be more than happy to uh, go over that with you and how you can. Uh, position yourself in there and potentially take advantage of that. Uh, taking a look here at the Nat Gas a uh, bit firmer, uh, the October Nat Gas around 278.10, sort of about one to two cents there. Two sided action there. Complex is a bit mixed. Uh, September, still looking at the RBOB there and the SEP uh, 304.05. That's up about uh, 130. Uh, while we're down a little bit there in the uh, heat, trading around 309.22. So a little bit of a mix there. Uh, let's get right into the fundamentals here. What do we got going on in there? Well, take a look at the, the equities markets here, here in the States as well as overseas. Really kind of quiet, stable uh, markets there. Uh, we did see some you know positive data coming out of uh, China here over the weekend in their housing market, showing a bit of an uptick in the vast majority of the cities. And the whole thing with that is, is this, is that a lot of people are focused on, you know, if China's data remains pretty weak and pretty poor, the idea is that there's going to be additional stimulus uh, dollars, you know, out there. And, and that can be bullish for commodities in general. So the idea of getting positive data out there actually has seen a bit of a negative here for some of the commodities, oil in particular, um, because what they're thinking is is, is that although there's a little bit of a recovery, we all know it's been slow, uh, but that there won't be that additional stimulus there and that'll help put a little bit of pressure on uh, commodities in the short term. Now, if we take a look at uh, here, you know, this morning here with the dollar, the way the dollar index is performing here, we're certainly the dollar's a little bit weaker, but yet so is oil. Usually a weaker dollar is a little bit of a bullish sign there for oil. But again, you know, I think this oil, these these the prices up here are a bit toppy. Uh, there was talk on Friday about a potential coming out of the uh, uh, White House about potential release out of the SPR. Um, and you know what? I don't think we're going to see that happen. There's been uh, quite a bit of backlash against that. The reason for this that the SPR is designed to, you know, if there are disruptions in the supply of oil here, okay, or if it becomes kind of more of a, a, a necessity to help bring down the price of oil. For example, when oil was up at around $150 a barrel there a couple of years ago, that's not the case right now. Yes, oil is a bit on the higher side, but does it warrant a release from the SPR? My opinion, no. I think it's purely a political political play uh, because as consumers are getting ready to, you know, uh, you know, voters, I should say, are getting ready to go to the polls here uh, in the next couple of months here, you know, these high gas prices are certainly going to be weighing on their minds. So I think it's more political posturing than anything, and I don't think we're going to see that happen. Now, with that being said, I am actually a little bit bearish, though, on oil. Um, we did see uh, uh, some, uh, we're looking at the last COT report here, we are seeing that some money managers are starting to sell a little bit of their holdings here. We are seeing those uh, COT numbers come down there a little bit. Looking at the technical side of the market, short term overbought. Uh, look at your technical indicators out there. You know, I think that's suggesting uh, the price are going to start moving back a little bit. We pushed up against a 200 day moving average. I think we got good resistance up there. Uh, so, you know, I'm targeting here around the 88 to $90 a barrel base the October uh, oil. Uh, you know, I think there'll be some good opportunity there to play it on the downside, but I think you got to be careful. So if you're interested, you want to talk about some strategies there. I've got a couple of uh, calculated risk strategies we can go over. Uh, or if you're a bull, you know, long term, I'm still bullish on oil. You know, give me a call. We can discuss how to position yourself there. The number to the trade desk here, if you want to reach me, is 1-800-367-7290. And of course, remember that futures trading does involve a substantial amount of risk, and it might not be suitable for all traders. Good luck and good trading.